Hey there, I'm meteorologist Jeff Jameson, and on this Thursday, we are certainly looking at more sunshine and very comfortable airs move back into the area. So lower humidity, temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s at the 11 o'clock hour here at midday. This is an ozone action day, though, because of the light wind we have out there, level orange. If you fall into what we call the sensitive group, you might want to try uh, spending some time indoors instead of outside this afternoon because of the ground level ozone pollution. We'll be looking at the humidity values staying fairly low today, as I mentioned, and the dew points right around 60 mean it's pretty pleasant for this time of year. But as we get into tomorrow and certainly the weekend, it's going to get more uncomfortable for us as the humidity values go back up. So enjoy today. Temperatures in the upper 80s, a light southeast wind less than 10 miles per hour. For overnight, we are watching showers and storms that will begin to move at us from the northwest. I'm not expecting widespread rain. And the storm should not be severe, but this could affect the morning commute. Here's 7 a.m. Some spotty showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms first thing tomorrow. Then that should die away by lunchtime, and the afternoon should be dry. Partly cloudy otherwise, with highs in the upper 80s. And then on Saturday, full-blown sunshine and not a drop of rain in the forecast either. Very warm temperatures in the lower 90s coming up by the time we get to Saturday afternoon. And even hotter than that on Sunday. Sunday's high 94. And we should stay in the mid-90s through the first half of next week with a slight chance of rain each day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Again, dry today, but tomorrow there is that chance of rain, especially during the morning hours.